Hi, I'm Liz. And I'm Leanne. And I'm Tiny Dancer. And tomorrow, Tiny Dancer and I are going for a hike that up, way. Up a mountain. And I'll be driving around to pick them up. When we got here, that was clear. Then it rained. All that runoff is because of the forest fire that happened last year. There's Tiny Dancer. We're not sure what she's doing. Is it working? No. That, why not? Because of wind. So me and Liz have been camping here since 2008. And last summer a fire went through and we didn't know that until we arrived this, this time. It's very sad if you look around. Everything's burnt. Everything. And I, hence why the river is so dark. There's definitely it's been a slide up the road because of the fire and the rain coming through. It's going to be interesting. Wait and see what happens tomorrow. Okay, I'm here with uh, Tiny Dancer. She is currently uh, brushing her teeth, get her uh, outfit on for the day. And then we're gonna head to the trailhead and we're gonna start hiking. We are on our way to the trailhead. Leanna's driving us. And I'm here. Hi. And there's Hi. Uh, there's so Tiny. We are now heading to the trailhead of Cathedral Park. Well, as you can see by the sign, it's closed and I guess the fire went through here. So we are gonna go figure out a plan B. We are driving up the road and we're gonna see if we can do some kind of out and back. Okay, we are at Centennial Trail and this is what we would have been coming down. So we're gonna hike up a ways, not all the way to the top. It's two, it's 15 kilometers and it's too late now. So we're gonna just go and do about four hours of hiking in total now. Yeah. Okay, goodbye. Okay, we're not very far into this hike, maybe a kilometer. And right here, as you can see, it's like a washout and it's just like, it would be so dangerous to go across there. If you slipped, you're going into that river down there and you're gonna die. So we're gonna turn around and we are quite a few kilometers away from our campsite and Leanne's not gonna be here for four hours, so. I think we're just gonna start hiking down the road back to camp. And that is gonna be our hike today. Not very exciting. There's Tiny Dancer behind me. Bye. I'm sending Leanne a message to tell her we're on the road. Time to start a fire. We're being uh, stared down by a cow right now. The other thing you know what I'd love to find is some chaga. So right now, Lisa is spruce tip hunting. She may dart off at any second. She's at it. Tiny Dancer is picking spruce tips. You want the nice tight little buds as much as possible because they have the most flavor and they've got some nutritional value to them as well. What are you gonna make with your spruce tip? We you make lots of things with them. Well, you know I have, I make soap, Osprey Lake soap. I've and, used that before to wash I, my body. Spruce hand salve, spruce tip ice cream. Oh. I make spruce tip pesto. What, you know what I've realized from this conversation we just had? Basically, Tiny Dancer is a forager. Tiny Dancer just pointed out to me, in this area here, this is where moose like to hang out. She is full of information, that lady. Hopefully it tastes good. Here I go. Not bad. Well, it's taken me a minute to come to terms with 
We are hiking on a forest service road. It's not my favorite. It is what it is. I'm trying to enjoy every moment out here. I'm looking at all the wildflowers, the trees, the river, and mainly I'm being entertained by Tiny Dancer. What did, what's that Tiny Dancer? You have to make sure you don't take all the spruce tips off a young tree because then it won't grow. Spruce tip hunting 101 with Tiny Dancer. Look at this scree field and Tiny Dancer. That'd be a tough climb up. These are going to be wild raspberries. You can see the little tiny buds on them. This is called mullion and it can grow up to about four feet tall. It's, you can dry it. It's good for your respiratory system. That's something else. Thimble berries. They look like jelly tots. So we're at 34 kilometers up the road. Camp's at 13. So we have 21 kilometers to go to get back to camp. And I'm hoping uh, Leanne gets here before we get back to camp. 19 kilometers back to camp. 27 kilometer mark. 14 kilometers back to our camp. I kind of wish I had Ethel right now. Riding this road would be a lot more fun. All right, we have made it 15 kilometers. Can you see that? The beautiful Ashnola River. One of my favorite rivers of all time. Look at the purple wildflowers. Just incredible. Well, we're coming up on uh, 20 kilometers. Leanne is here and we're at 20K. 20 kilometers. I'm so sad. Tiny Dancer is leaving us, but we're going to see her tomorrow. I know, but that's too long. It's always too long when Tiny yeah. Dancer is gone. <laughs> well, we had a fantastic hike on the road today. <laughs> yeah, not not <laughs> quite what we planned, but, but we got 20 kilometers in. And good. I had a nap. My body feels pretty good. I feel great. And now Tiny Dancer is leaving. Ciao. Bye, Tiny time. Dancer. Bye, Tiny Dancer. We'll Dancer. see you later. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hey, we are at a different campsite. We moved. We are now close to Princeton called Martin Lake. And today we are going to continue our little adv camping adventure and we're going to go ride our bikes. Yeah, we're going to go do some exploring and maybe a future place to go bikepacking. But right now we're going to introduce you to our new friend and family member, Phyllis. This is our 2018 Tacoma that we've bought and we love it. It's our first outing with her and we're very, very happy. All right, we're going to start pedaling and see you out there. Bye. Bye. All right, we're riding down the road. So yesterday I learned a lesson. Do not try and chop wood with your sandals on. I almost chopped my toe off. There is the Princeton dump. It's a good place to actually get free wood. We are now riding along the Kettle Valley Rail Trail. And I think this weekend was the start of the BC Epic mountain bike race. It's a thousand kilometer race. Right behind me is one of my favorite rivers of all time. There's the Similkameen. We're gonna be following this as far as we can. The Similkameen River. We're gonna be following this to Highway 3. Ride my bicycle, I want to ride my bike. So as a kid, we always used to camp in Manning Park along the Similkameen River. I love camping by rivers. It's one of my favorite things to do. I think Gotta watch out for the dog shit. One looks like human. Gross. It's kind of cool over there, that rock formation. Layers and layers of sediment. A little place to camp, maybe? I don't know. It's got a picnic table, and it doesn't say no camping. We're coming down this trail, and there looks like there's some dil dilapidated stuff. Gonna go check it out. So it looks like people were used to live down here. This looks all dilapidated here. There's like a frame here. A picnic table over there. A little cabin here. Oh yeah. The sink in there. Looks like they were building it and then stopped. Bunch of frames here. Bunch of logs over there for building the cabin. This is a wood stove here. Wow. Looks like there is wiring. 
being put in here. But it looks like it's been abandoned for a while. And amongst the dilapidation, beautiful wildflowers. Cool, we found this trail that nobody really knows about. Looks like it's not used very often, but it's good enough to get through on our bikes. Well, it looks like the road is gone. I don't know if it's been washed out or what, but we're on a single track trail right now. Let's see how far I can get. <laughs> Well, it just went through a, a landslide, but it looks like I found the road again. Oh. Nothing like a swamp to put a damper on things, and it's too deep to ride through. Swampy and buggy. I don't know what she's trying to do right now but she should be face, facing the other way. All right, she's got herself turned around. She's moving at the speed of light. She's picking up pace. She's too big. She cannot fit with the bike. That bush there is gonna be a problem. She did it. I made it. Riding through some beautiful wildflowers here. All this rain has brought out all the flowers. Okay, we're lost. Well, we got ourselves a little bit lost. But according to the map, it looks like we're about 400 kilometers off the trail. I mean, 400 meters. We think we have found a road to the highway. We'll just keep going this way and hope for the best. You can hear the highway, I don't think it's very far. We are now in a gravel pit. I see the highway. We found the highway. You look really close, you can see it. There's the car. Made it back to the highway. Now we're gonna ride on back to Princeton and our campground. Up, up, up. I'm tired, feeling a little fatigued. Three kilometers of up, then I'll be back to my campsite. <sighs> Hear the raven? I love the raven. We made it back to our, our campground. Yes, we did. And we're having a fire. We and are. And we've eaten food. If you want to see more of these videos, you need to like and subscribe. And remember. And remember. And remember. Keep on. Adventuring. Adventuring. Thanks for watching. And we will see you in our next exciting video where we will be heading to Blairmore, Alberta to volunteer at, at the, the Sinister, Sinister Seven. Seven. Stay tuned for that video. See you there. Bye.